in this video I'm going to show you how to use the oil painting Photoshop action so the way the action works is you open your photo and you just play the action and here's the effect that the action creates so as you can see what the action does, the action transforms the photo into the oil painting and the result that you get are fully layered so there is a lot of options for customizing the results and the action also does not require the oil paint filter in order to work All right? and the action also creates 40 preset color looks that you can choose from alright so let me just close this window so before you use the action there are just a few things you should check just to make sure that the action will run without any errors so the first thing you should check is that your photo is the background layer so it should be called background and have this little lock icon and if you have something like this or anything else just go to layer new and choose a background from layer then click on this menu icon over here choose panel options and make sure that this option here the add copy to copy layers groups is checked then go to the image mode and make sure your photo is the RGB color mode 8-bit canon you can also check the image size from here so for best results you should use the images that run from 25 to 40, 4500 pixels wide or high All right. so to load the action go to window actions click on the menu icon right here load actions and here just choose the action from a folder according to a Photoshop version select the action file, choose load and the action will appear here in your actions panel when you open the folder you find two actions here right and to load the patterns file you can just select the patch stamp tool from here click on this little arrow here gear icon and choose load patterns and again just choose the patterns file from folder according to your photoshop version you select the patterns file choose load and two patterns will appear here in your patterns panel right so all you have to do now is to just open the folder select the old painting action and click play and I'm going to fasten the video here and I'll get back when the action is finished then I'm going to go through all the layers to show you how each layer works, how it affects the design and how can you customize it alright so the action here just finished so I'm just going to close the action panel for now and I'm going to expand a little bit this layers panel so the first thing that you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just quickly close down all these folders so how can you do that to so just hold control and all buttons for PC or command option for Mac and while all painting folders selected just click on this little arrow here and on that we are going to close down all the folders so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start customizing these effects from the bottom so I'm just going to hide all the layers and then I'm going to start them on one by one because in that way we better understand how each layer works so first layer that we got here is our original photo layer, the background layer alright and the next we got is the painting effect okay so the next layer we got here is the add glow layer so just gonna turn it on and what you can do here is you can click on this layer here and now just double click on the filter gallery here so what you can do here is you can just zoom out to better see the photo All right. so what we got here is the clear amount so what you can do is as you lower this amount you can expand the areas that are going to be affected by the glow right with the glow amount you are adjusting the literally amount of glow Okay. but with a clear amount you can just lower the value and expand the areas where the glow will appear right so we're going to leave this default right so just choose OK and then what you can do you can adjust the opacity here further if you like so for layers that you customize by changing the opacity, you can change the opacity either by clicking on the word opacity and dragging it to the side or you can simply click on this layer here and then just move this slider left to right Okay. just like that and you get a layer mask here so if you wish to remove the glow from a specific area what you can do is you can select the layer mask pick a brush tool and just choose a soft brush set foreground color to black and you can simply brush wherever you wish to remove the glow from your photo okay and you can brush with the white if you wish to make the glow visible on these areas again okay so next what we got here are the textures so I'm just going to turn them on I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so when you open the folder you'll we'll find five textures here I'm just gonna hide them all so the first one we got is the canvas texture All 
right? And again, what you can do is you can adjust the opacity here if you like. Then we have the help tone texture. Okay. And the next we got here are the brush strokes layers, which is going to turn them on. And what you can do is you can just play with the pasties here to create a different painting look. Okay. And last we got here the embossed texture. Okay, I'm just going to leave this layer hidden for now because I'm going to update this layer later with this action and then I'm going to use it. All right. So the next we got here are the coral looks. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the action creates 40 preset coral looks that you can choose from. So all you have to do is to just select the coral look that you want to try, you turn it on, you see how it looks, and if you don't like it, simply try with another until you find one that goes best with your photo. Okay. And what you can also do is you can combine a few of color looks, and that's exactly what I'm going to do in this example. So I'm just going to turn on this color look over here, and I'm just going to drop down its opacity like this. And then I'm going to use this one here, and then I'm just going to adjust its opacity. So you can combine more color looks to create uh, some unique color look. All right. And the next we got here is the other contrast. So I'm just going to turn it on. And how I adjust the contrast is to just change the opacity here. And the next we got is the overall brightness. So I'm going to turn it on. And if you double click here, what you can do is you can use these five sliders to adjust the brightness of your photo. So this slider here is going to boost the shadows. And this one here is going to boost the highlights. This one here is affecting the midtones. And you can use these two sliders here to fade the highlights or to fade the shadows. Right? So by default, the action boosts the highlights a little bit and the fades the shadows. So what I'm going to do is just gonna move this slider like this. Alright, just like that. And the next we got here is the overall vibrance and saturation. So just gonna turn it on and when you double click with this layer thumbnail in the properties panel here you can adjust the vibrance and saturation using these two sliders. So you can just drag them into the side. And lastly, what we got here is the oil sharpening. So when you open here the oil painting folder, you find that we got the action update, emboss, and sharpening. So if you can make any changes to the photo and you need to update the sharpening, you can just run this action here. So just select the action, click play. And what this action is going to do is it's going to update both the emboss and sharpening layers. So I'm just going to select the emboss layer here. Right, so you can adjust the opacity. Right, and I'm just going to turn on the sharpening. So to adjust the sharpening, just change the opacity of this layer. Right, and that's it. So let's just quickly check the before and after effect. So this is the before, and this is the after effect. All right. So I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching.